All right, guys, rapid fire. I'm going to show you exactly how I've set up my streaming over on OBS. I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to show you exactly what I have for my setup. I have a Mac M1 Max uh, MacBook Pro I got in, I believe, 2022, the beginning of 2022. So if you have those specs, this is how I would set it up. And even still, if you have a Mac M1, this gives you a kind of an idea of how you should set up your uh, OBS streaming. So let's get into it. All right. So as you can see here, we do have our window open. It's going to obviously gonna move this up. I got all my setups here, right? But we're going to just go for this video preferences. So we'll go in the preferences here. We're going to go here to stream and I use uh, restream.io. So you can set up for a restream account. It's entirely free and I do recommend it if you want to simulcast to multiple different uh, services. But you can also use Facebook Live. You can use YouTube, RTMPS. You can use Twitch, Custom, even Twitter, uh, Show All. So that is going to be that, right? All right, so you have that in there. You have your stream set up. Now let's go to output, okay? So in output here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to have CBR, which is constant bit rate. So you want to put that in your encoder settings uh, for rate control. This is for streaming. For recording, you're going to have a little bit different. Uh, like I have over 40,000 bit rate here and I have CBR, but I have 40,000 bit rate here. And for streaming, I like to have 6,000 here. You have to make sure that your bit rate isn't too much. Otherwise, it's not going to look great for everybody. Not everybody's devices, not everyone can uh, basically digest 6,000, um, you know? So it, it, the bigger that this goes up, the more likely it's going to shrink how many people you can actually, uh, you know, watch your stream because the bit rate is gonna be a little high. So. Typically speaking, I would say 4,000 to 6,000, depending on your internet. Uh, I have Apple VT hardware encoder here. I've tried all sorts of encoders. I find this one works the best on Mac, and so I just want the best quality. Um, and this one doesn't really lag you know, my computer or anything like that. Um, my output for video... It's going to be uh, 1920 by 1080. You want to make sure that you have the base as whatever your canvas size is, whatever your monitor is going to be. So as it stands, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 display, 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I don't want to change that in any way. And it's grayed out right now because I'm recording. But basically, this is how you want it. And if the base is different, you can make the base different, but the output what you're scaling um it has to be you know an aspect the same aspect ratio and so what you could do is if you have to you know say upscale it uh you can use this downscale uh filter and you know basically push it to the limit there uh your common fps values this is going to be your 60 frames 30 frames you can even use an integer uh, FPS value, uh, which does give you the option to, you know, cap it at 55 frames and what have you. I like 60. There will be times where I will cap it, but I like 60, uh, especially when I'm streaming. So those are my settings there. Uh, then you go to advanced and I, you're pretty much going to have the same stuff as me. I did disable Mac OS, uh, V sync. And I think the reason being is if you experience any screen tearing, that's really what that's for. Any screen, te screen tearing, and that's exactly why you would click that off and you would actually use the VSync. But it can create lag. It cre you know definitely create latency in your uh, live stream. Just not a lot of people like using it. So that's pretty much what I have here. It's not a ton, uh, but this is just my setup as it stands now. When you go through the video, this is just 60 frames and that. Um, recording is a little bit different. Like I said, with the bit rate, you want it to be a lot higher than if you were just doing streaming. Um, but typically speaking, it's not hard to stream. And if you are a little bit overwhelmed, totally understand it is uh, absolutely normal. Um, but what I will say right now is that if the one thing that's stopping you from streaming is this setup, this is why I made this video. I think it's, it's very easy once you get the hang of it. If you're on um, you know, a Mac M1 machine for whatever reason, and you're having some issues or whatever, hopefully this helps. I try hardware. They have software. They also have uh, X264. I would go with the hardware. This is a tried and true formula for me. 
basically i found this all by just testing throwing stuff at the wall seeing what's stuck and if you are a macbook owner wanting to stream that's what i recommend for you that's my streaming setup on obs if you like what you saw be sure to like subscribe comment we're gonna have more of this stuff because i feel like I've been asked before, hey, is there any way that you could do a video and kind of break down your process and, you know, how you do things? And certainly I, I wanted to do that. I want to help people if I can. And if this helped you, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. More videos like this will be coming over time. I just like to show people my thought process and, you know, my workflow and how things work. Um, if you're interested in more tutorials like this and it, it's not anything super professional, but it's just kind of like a rapid, you know, just going through my process. Uh, I will have more of that for you. We can do one on Logic Pro. We can do one on Final Cut. It, I just like showing people my process and being, you know, transparent to everything because there are a lot of people out there that want to be content creators. And whether that means streaming or doing videos, you know, e either of those really what that comes down to is it's really not that hard. You just have to hit, you know, record. You just have to hit play. You just have to get something out there to set that bar. So if you yourself watching this hasn't started a channel or has and you know it's a little down and maybe it's not where you want it to be just make sure that you are focusing on putting something out there to start because you don't know where the bar is if you don't set it once you set it you can crush it i wish you the best of luck and i'll see you guys in the next one later folks